Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Mercedes Sprinter camper conversion. As you can see we're in a slightly different place today, got a slightly different van with us. As some of you may already know we do have another van which we use at the moment which is our VW T5 which you can see behind me here. Converted this about three or four years ago and have been using it as a weekend, as a day van, been taking it down to Italy, down to the south of France. So what we thought we'd do today is we'd give you a tour of our T5 and some of the things that we like about it, some of the things that we would change if we do it again, and some of the reasons why we decided to go for a Mercedes Sprinter over the VW T5. At some point we will be getting rid of this T5 and just using the Sprinter, but for now while the Mercedes Sprinter is still in conversion, we're using the T5. We've come down to probably one of our favourite spots in the UK this weekend, we've come down to Newquay in Cornwall. So we thought we'd give you a quick tour while we've got the van set up and just let you know what's inside. So this is the van, it's a 2004 VW T5. It's the 174 model, so it's the big 2.5 litre, 174 brake horsepower model. It's got quite a bit of kick to it when you decide to put your foot down in the blue. It's had a few additions to it. It's got the alloy wheels, it's got the side skirts along here. These were already on the van when we purchased the van as a panel van. Bought it off someone who also already had these slide windows in. So the main modifications that we've done to the van have been on the inside. It's the twin rear door model. T5s come in two different models, they come in a barn door version, which is these doors here, or they come with the up and over door. We actually prefer having these barn doors rather than the up and over door, it just gives you a little bit easier access into the back, especially when you're in car parks, you don't have to worry about lifting the door up and banging it on the roof of the car park. One addition that we have made is we have added this 100 watt flexible solar panel to the roof. We do have a leisure battery set up inside the van. So this just keeps that topped up when we're not hooked up to 240 volt if you want to be a bit more off grid. We can use the solar panel on a sunny day like today, pulling in quite a bit of power into the batteries, just keeping those topped up so we can run the interior appliances and lights. We've also got an awning on the side of the van, it's connected into the side of the van with this handy caddle strip. It's just a piece of fabric that runs along one of the rails here allows you to connect an awning, disconnect very quickly, all you need to do is just pull the strip out and then you can drive away and then when you come back on, just put the strip back in and you can reconnect the awning, it's a very handy addition. If anyone doesn't have one of these, I definitely recommend getting one. Moving on into the interior of the van, as you can see we have down this side we've got various cupboards, we've got two large cupboards in the back here which we use for our clothes storage. We then have this handy overbed storage just up here, which you can store towels and other bits and pieces in. And then down this side we have our cooker, We've got a two hob gas cooker in there, and our sink with our tap. Also got our fridge down here, nice compact Waco fridge. This is the CR50X model. There's two different models of the CR50, there's the X and the non-X. The X is a little bit more efficient, we've run this without being hooked up purely on solar off a full battery charge for about four days, So, and that's running it really cool, that's running it at its lower setting. We then have various handy storage drawers, these nice little pop-out clips pull out. We've got our knives and forks drawer just in here, nice and deep drawers. Slightly deeper drawer over here then, which we just keep all of our tea, coffee, bits and pieces in. Just a handy storage drawer. And then down here, we've got a nice storage cupboard where again we can keep pots and pans and some handy supplies just in here. Again, a nice big storage cupboard. And then finally over here, again another full height door. This is where we've got our gas bottle. We've also got our fresh water tank in here as well, which has got a submersible pump in. So when we go up onto our sink, you can lift the little lever and then you get water coming out of your tap, which is a really nice handy addition we've got in the van. So as I said, we've got a single 110 10 amp hour leisure battery, which is under the, underneath the driver's seat. We've also got built into the side of these cabinets some handy 12 volt appliance plugs 
So under this one just here, we've got some USB sockets which we can charge up USB devices, various power banks, mobile phones, watches, that kind of thing. And then on this side we have a standard 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter port where again you can plug in various appliances and charge different things so that's a nice handy addition. We've also got these handy cubby holes in the side of the taller storage lockers which we can we've got glasses, deodorants and other sort of bottle size items that we can put in here they're really handy. The waste for the sink runs down underneath these cabinets into a hot uh, into a cupboard at the back which has then got a wastewater tank in there which is a removable wastewater tank we can take all that away and tip it down a drain so we do have another cupboard just in here which has got a lift up top down in there we've got various bits and pieces we've got our Nespresso coffee machine which we can use when we're on 240 hookup we've also got our electric fuse box in there as well so we can change some blade fuses if we need to so there's quite a lot of storage in here for the size of the van carry everything we need for a long weekend or a week away somewhere. We're down here for five days in Newquay and we've got everything that we need inside the van. On the ceiling then we've got some recessed LED lights, 12 volt LED lights in our headliner which is a Alcantara headliner. Gives it a nice soft feel, a nice soft plush feel and we've got four lights in here which have just powered off our 12 volt leisure battery. Again really low power just to turn those on and off. We've got a little switch just here on the side, you can flip those on and off nice and easily. In terms of seating and bed, we have this rock and roll bed in the back here, which normally is a twin seat with seat belts. It's a fully crash tested bed, so you can carry passengers in here legally. They've got the seat belts that they can use. But then when you want to convert it into a bed, all you do is pull a handle, a handle just down here, and then this folds out into a full size bed. So now as you can see we've got the bed pulled out, we've got the two pillows up here, we put a memory foam mattress top on top of here and then a duvet and it's a really nice comfy bed, perfect size for two people, and handy to put away in the mornings when you want to use it as a seat. You can just fold the bed back up and it just slides back into place. To put the bed away all you do is you just pull a handy strap under here and then the bed has got a nice action to it, it's just got some nice action that just puts it back into a seat. Make sure you slide your handle across and then it's firmly locked in place then so it's back into its seat position. When we were designing the interior of this van we were unsure on what flooring to go with. People had various different types of flooring, they got the outro flooring which we put in the Sprinter, various different vinyls or wood floorings. We went for this quite hard wearing carpet, it's quite a hard sort of weave in this carpet. We found it really useful, you can hoover it out easily. See it's a little bit dirty at the moment but you can easily just get a hoover over the top of here. We've got a 12 volt hoover which we use. Really handy, really hard wearing. We did originally put some vinyl in but we removed that after we noticed that it was starting to skag. So we just put the carpet in. So on all of the windows in the van in the back, we've got these amazing Vanex curtains. They're really, really blackout blinds, definitely block out all of the light, fit nice and snugly in the window. Again, they do various different colours in these. Uh, they're designed specifically for the T5, so we've got them on the side window just there. We've also got them down the back barn doors, and we've also got them on the door slide as well at the same time. So when these are all closed, really nice and dark in the van. Even if you parked underneath street lights and things like that, it will really give you a nice dark interior. So all the cabinetry is a flat pack kit from a company called Eva Motion Designs. They've got various different designs, various different layouts of the van that you can have. And it all gets delivered to you in a nice flat pack kit and then you have to build it. Recommend building this outside of the van and then lifting it in afterwards just so you've got a bit more room and space to work on. Also comes with this handy rail and a table. This table here, it's got a fold out leg. So you can sit here when it's not that nice outside and you can't sit outside, you can use the back bench seat. And then you've got this handy little table where you can sit and have a cup of coffee or sit and have some food once you've cooked it in your, in your kitchen. Overall, overall we're really impressed with this van. I've used it quite a lot. 
taking it down to Italy, taking it down to the south of France, taking it across the west coast of France and used it quite a bit in the UK. One of the reasons why we're upgrading to the Mercedes Sprinter is just the headroom. We decided not to put a pop top in here when we built it. Um, just having that little bit of extra headroom may have helped but one of the reasons why we're upgrading to the Mercedes Sprinter is just the extra headroom if we want to do a bit of longer term travel. Having that extra room to walk around and stand up would be a little bit easier but for what we've used this van for it's perfect. We've had we've cooked meals for six or seven people inside here and it's served as well. So there we have the tour of our VW T5 camper van. As I said we really love using this van. We'll see it'll be a shame to see it go when we get to use the Sprinter a bit more but we're gonna have to get rid of it because we can't have two vans. Again thank you very much for tuning in to our channel. Thank you for all those people that subscribe to our channel already. If you haven't already done so and you are liking our videos remember to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. We'd also love to hear your comments if there's anything you would like us to go over in any of our previous videos in more depth or if you'd like to see a bit more of the T5. Also if there's anything you'd like us to cover on the channel, whether that's travel tips, any gear reviews, just let us know and we'll try and get those videos out for you. Remember we put up a video every Sunday, so until next time, see you again soon, bye!